Battery switch, guard closed. Battery voltage, checked. Standby power switch, guard closed. Alternate flaps master switch, guard closed. Windshield wiper selector, off. Electric hydraulic pumps, off. Landing gear lever, down, three greens no reds. Weather radar, off. Ground power available light, verify, illuminated. In this case, turn ground power switch on. Verify, bus off light, transfer bus off light and standby power lights are extinguished. If auxiliary power unit is needed, verify all fire switches are in. Alert ground personnel and set overheat detection switches to normal. Test switch. Hold default and operative. Verify the master caution lights, overheat detection annunciators, fault lights, and APU detection and operative lights are illuminated. Test switch. Hold to overheat fire. Verify the fire warning bell sounds. Master fire warning lights, master caution lights and overheat detection annunciator is illuminated. Fire warning light push. Verify master fire warning lights are extinguished. Bell cancels and fire switches stay illuminated. Verify engine 1 and 2 overheat lights stay illuminated. Extinguish a test switch. Hold to position 1 and then hold to position 2. Both positions should illuminate 3 green lights. Auxiliary power unit. Switch to on. Then hold in start position for 2 to 3 seconds. When APU gen off bus light is illuminated, APU generator bus switch is on. Verify all lights are extinguished on APU panel. Verify. APU voltage is 115 volt. Alternate current and frequency at 400 hertz. Whenever APU is required for extended period, make sure you operate one fuel pump for service life of APU. Center tank fuel pump should be used to avoid imbalance, only if the center tank exceeds 453 kilograms. Do not operate center tank fuel pumps with the flight deck unattended. Now we can test wheel well fire warning system, because it only works on AC power. Test switch hold to overheat fire. Verify fire warning bell sounds. Master fire warning lights. Master caution lights, and overheat detection annunciator is illuminated. Bell cutout switch, push, verify master fire warning lights are extinguished, bell cancels, wheel well lights stay illuminated. That concludes electrical power up procedure. Now that electrical power up, or otherwise called safety checks has been completed, we can start with our preliminary pre-flight procedure. IRS mode selector, off, then nav, verify. On DC lights illuminate then extinguish, verify line lights are illuminated. Verify, following are sufficient for flight, oxygen pressure, checked. Hydraulic oil quantity and engine oil quantity, checked. If flying non-FS, hydraulic oil quantity should be above refill. Do the remaining actions after a crew change, or maintenance action. Maintain ANS documents, check. Emergency equipment, check. Which includes fire extinguisher, crash axe, escape ropes, smoke goggles, gloves, life jackets, and portable breathing equipment, 
Checked and stowed. Service into phone switch. Off. Engine panel. Set. Verify reverser lights extinguished. PMC switches. Up. Verify in operative lights and low idle lights are extinguished. Oxygen panel. Set. Passenger oxygen switch. Guard closed. Verify passenger oxygen on light is extinguished. Stall warning test switches. Push and hold. One at a time. Verify each control column vibrates respectively. The stall warning test requires that. AC transfer buses are powered for up to 4 minutes. Circuit breakers. P6 panel. Check. Crew oxygen valve. Open. Manual gear extension access door. Closed. Circuit breakers. P18 panel. Check. Rain repellent. As installed. Check. Verify that the float is above the line. And shut off valve handle is in the vertical position. Parking brake. As needed. Set parking brake if. Brake wear indicators will be checked during the exterior inspection. That concludes the preliminary pre-flight procedure. If you did not listen to the ATIS, now is the time to quickly do it before CDU pre-flight, and note down the values on takeoff data card. Takmalad Airport Information Bravo, 0739 Zulu, wind 2999 at 10, visibility greater than 20 miles, sky conditions, few clouds at 1600, temperature 1. CDU pre-flight procedure can be started any time after the preliminary pre-flight procedure. The initial data and navigation data entries must be complete before the flight instrument check during the pre-flight procedure. Performance data entries must be complete before the before start checklist. Initial data has two pages, ident and position initialization page. Start with filling ident page. Initial data set ident page verify that the model and engine rating is correct and navigation database is current position initialization page verify time is correct enter present position on the set irs position line We are parked at gate 5. Enter the coordinates from gate 2 through 6 on the approach plate. In set IRS position. Captain will insert and recheck the coordinates into the CDU. While first officer announces them. North 33365, East 073061. North 33365, East 073061 checked. Let's move on to the navigation data. It has three pages, route, departure, and legs page. Start with route page. Route page, enter the origin, enter the route, activate and execute the route. Departures page. Select runway and departure routing. Execute the runway and departure routing. Legs page. Verify or center the correct RNP for the departure. Verify the route is correct on the RTE pages. Check legs pages as needed to ensure compliance with the flight plan.
FMC route shall be verified by comparing the flight plan to airways and waypoints on legs page. Performance page. Verify CDU fuel. The FQI's fuel and fuel on flight. Plan agrees. Verify fuel is sufficient for flight. Enter, reserve fuel, cost index 30, cruise altitude, cruise wind from flight plan of the first waypoint after top of climb. On receipt of trim sheet. Captain will sign trim sheet, insert CG and zero fuel weight, and check data card against takeoff reference page. After inserting the zero fuel weight, check cruise page for optimum level. Verify that the gross weight and cruise center of gravity on the CDU and the dispatch papers agree. Also compare the total distance from the flight plan to the total distance from progress page and great circle distance from fixed pages. First officer will select temperature from takeoff gross weight charts. Take off speeds from QRH, prepare data card, set N1 and speed bugs. Take off reference page, enter values on page 2, then page 1. Select an assumed temperature, or a fixed D rate takeoff as needed. Select a full, or, D rated climb thrust as needed. Verify that a trim value is shown. Select or enter takeoff V speeds. Verify that the pre flight status changes to pre flight complete with no prompts. This concludes the CDU pre flight procedure.